Okay, so here we are at the Canvas On Demand website. And you can see that it's a nice, uh, clearly laid out website here. We we uh, have no difficulty in figuring out what it's all about. There's that guy off the TV. He's uh, Ty Pennington, and he's a big proponent of these guys because it really is a way of making artwork for your walls. And uh, they're all about like doing up your walls and doing up your house and stuff. So uh, what you need to do is just click that big button, the big green button there, order your canvas, and that's going to bring you to this um, next screen, which gives you the layout and your size and what have you. So one of the things, or, or, or what I chose to do was the single panel, but one of the things that I love to do is also these wall displays and the photo splits, because this actually sets everything up for you if you're going to do um, like a little, like, a collage of uh, one particular photo or two particular photos uh, for a wall display it's a really fun thing to do so that's something that I definitely plan on coming back to do uh, so I chose single panel and then of course you come down here you choose your quantity and you choose the type of um, wrap that you're going to have I never uh, tried the framing option although I'm sure they're very good too um, I personally got the thick gallery wrap which is an inch and a half thick and I'll show you in the photographs below um, that it's finished so well it's excellently finished and I actually got a black border on that um, which really helped to set my picture off as well so um, the size that I got was 16 by 20 which is a really nice size uh, I have it hanging above my mantle and it's just perfect for that space um, so you just click the button there beside the size that you want um, and yeah here is where I uh, particular chose my particular edge now you can choose to have your image wrapped the whole way around the, the actual canvas which is a really good idea and it's a very professional finish um, you do have to allow a little bit of room top bottom left and right so that your um, you know your print isn't actually like say somebody's head isn't actually wrapped around the top of the canvas which wouldn't be a good look uh, personally I chose to do the black wrap because the top of my um, picture was cropped very tightly and I didn't want um, my daughter's head to be cut off so I choose that black wrap and I chose the black particularly because my background as you'll see in the picture is cream and I didn't want to um, it to get lost it really helps it to stand out but you could also choose a particular color which I think is really interesting as well and I'd be very curious to see how that goes so you can see here down on the side it's always given you a, a running total of how much you're spending so there's no kind of hidden costs there and in, in regards to um, what you're getting done there will be no surprises at the very end uh, and you can choose some additional digital services here as well you could change it into black and white if you wanted to or that sepia tone which is kind of like that old-fashioned tone this works really well for old photos as well maybe you've scanned in your computer I mean I think um, old photos done up on a canvas are something really special as well um, and then you choose how you can hang it so I just went for the standard open back here and that works perfectly and um, unless there's, there's like you really want to go for this premium discover I mean that's just another option that you can do one of the best things about canvas prints is that they're actually so lightweight uh, for such big size of photographs so um, you're not like restricted in where you can put them I know I've had other photos print, printed and matted and framed before and those frames if you're like 16 by 20 or bigger end up in extremely heavy so this kind of gets rid of that you don't have to worry about the the heaviness of the size of the frame so then you come down here you fill in your name if you're going to add any ex extra comments about this this is just for your own reference so that you can have it to look back to and you go ahead and you upload your photo now you also have to check this little box here to say that you own the copyright you cannot get photos that a, a photographer has given you um, you know make copies of or enlargements that's copyright infringement so you always want to make sure that you own the copyright if you've taken the photo yes you own the copyright so you go here click here browse for files and that's just going to bring you to the uploading oh, where you go whoops the uploading um dialog box now i'm using a mac here and i automatically remember i said in my blog post i've saved this um picture to the desktop so i know exactly where it is so you just click on that and upload it and uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that now because um, I 
have already got this uploaded into the system but you go ahead and upload it click open that's going to bring you into the next the next uh, screen when you hit continue um, and you pretty much are just checking it out but it actually does give you um, a little preview of what your picture is going to look like which is really cool and um, you can also mail in a photograph if you don't have anything on your computer that you'd like to do I'm not really sure how that all works um, but I've no doubt that it would be um, a very good option as well um, I really really love this particular service canvasondemand.com um, the, the shipping everything was super super fast and the way that it came to me was very professionally wrapped and there was absolutely um, the service was absolutely exceptional. So that's me from Ingrid uh, Beginners Photography blog and you can check out more on my uh, website at www.beginnersphotographyblog.com uh, for more photos and some um, more information about printing your canvases um, on demand.